Good morning, Tond High School. Will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Good morning, Town High School. I'm John Bach, and these are your morning announcements. Please stick around for a PSA and an important message from Mr. Poland. The question of the day for today is which Avengers actor or actress is the longest tenured actor slash actress in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The Model United Nations Club will be hosting its next meeting Monday, March 21st from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. in Mr. Dornfried's room. The topic of debate is the nuclear duel between the United States and Iran, and whether or not the agreement will be, oh, the topic is, and whether or not the agreement will be renegotiated under a new administration. The United States, in the United States, stop on by and represent one of the UNIS Security Council members in an attempt to settle the longest standing dispute and uphold the principle of not nuclear non-proliferation. New members are always welcome. Stop on by in person or virtually. The THS Pride Recognition Program has been set up to recognize students who are demonstrating the THS core values, perseverance, respect, integrity, dependability, and engagement. The following students are being recognized this week. Patrick Devine, Madison Davis, Maveen Hogan, Sydney Nevins, Sydney Poverman, Steph Jensen, Alexa Casey, Matthew Byers, Jason Finick, Anthony Reinhardt, and Madeline DeArmor. Mr. Poland and Mr. Cavalier would like to congratulate those students in the library now. Please come by to the library now to be recognized. The answer for the question of the day, Paul Bettany, who plays Vision, has been the longest MCU actor since 2008 when he took on the initial role of Jarvis. Now for a PSA. Attention Tallinn High School seniors. Do you worry about paying for college? Do you want free money to ease the stress on your bank account? Fear not, because the Tallinn Community Scholarship application has just been released. Whether you are majoring in journalism or chemical engineering, staying close to home, or studying abroad in Uzbekistan, there is a scholarship for you. Most importantly, the scholarship application takes less than five minutes to fill out. Go to TallinnCS.link or alternatively, the Senior Google Classroom. Then just enter in some basic contact information and slap some things from your resume into the bottom of the form. There are plenty of scholarships to go around. Make sure you don't miss out on this epic opportunity. Good morning, Eagles. As we transition into the spring season, I wanted to take some time to connect with you all in the best way that I could. Um, I appreciate all of your efforts thus far, and I recognize that this year has not been easy. But you all have risen to the occasion, day in and day out, and I appreciate that. But to be clear, although there is a light at the end of the tunnel, um, we need to continue to remain vigilant and practice our safety measures each day, which include wearing our masks, sanitizing in and sanitizing out, socially distancing where feasible, and make sh making sure we walk in a one-way direction to travel in the hallways. We need to continue to practice these strategies to make sure that this year finishes safely and successfully. Our juniors next, semester, next week are taking the SAT on March 24th, next Wednesday. Juniors taking the SAT, communication will be going home tonight in regards to that test day. Rosters will be posted in the main lobby the morning of the test. As my advisory presentation stated, I believe you all can beat the test. Remember, no matter what, you control your attitude and effort on that day and every day. So bring the positivity and bring the focus and you will have success. For all other students next Wednesday, it is a typical remote Wednesday. And in, in fact, it is our last remote Wednesday. The following week, starting with March 29th, that's a Monday, we will begin to transition to offering our 
five-day in-person option as an educational option, or remote learning still as an option for our students. Wednesdays will become half-day in-person days. The school day will still begin at 725. We will still stagger our entry, and we will stagger our dismissal. On Wednesdays, starting the week of the 29th, classes will be 42 minutes in length. We will not offer lunch. We do not typically offer lunch on a half day, and we will not start that, that practice that week. We will also not be offering study halls on Wednesday. Um, due to the fact that we are not offering lunch and the amount of time between dismissal and the start of afternoon activities, it's not feasible to offer study hall. However, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday do not change. Schedule does not change. We will still offer study hall. We will still do our staggered opening and our staggered dismissal by transportation groups and offer our grab-and-go lunch. Please know that in my recent digital bulletin, I asked parents to re-register students for the study hall for the spring semester. All right, even though if you've already registered for the study hall and you have to remain in school on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays because of a transportation circumstance, you have to re-register for that study hall for the start of the spring season. So please ask your parent guardian to do that. And finally, as we close out the year, I want to begin to recognize our seniors as much as we can to make the end of the year very meaningful for them. Today, there will be an announcement made over the intercom at 11.50 to celebrate two of our seniors. Please join the school community at that time in celebrating these Eagles. Together, let's win this day and go Eagles.